Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Morning Reads where I talk about books and things and today I have a tag for you because I realized that all of the like videos that I've posted this week have been super long so I decided to make just a fun, quick, easy tag as my bonus video for the week. And this tag was created by Princess of Paperbacks and I was tagged by Villain Quest. And it is the stay at home book tag. So without further ado, let's get right into the questions. So I'm gonna look at them on my phone because guys, I'm really, really bad. We've talked about this, goldfish memory. I am like Dory from Finding Nemo. I have really good long-term memory, but really bad short-term memory. So I'm just gonna read the prompts off my phone. So prompt number one is laying in bed. Book you could or have read in a day. Now we've talked about this before. I am not a sprinter when it comes to books and I rarely, rarely read books in one day, but I do have two books that I did read in one day and those books are Magic for Liars by Sarah Gailey and A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I read this one in one night and I woke my husband up at six in the morning sobbing and I read this also in one night because I just couldn't put it down. These two books are amazing. All right, so we have prompt number two, Snacking, a guilty pleasure book. And I have the absolute most perfect book for this. And that is, this is actually a bind up of two books, but Flowers in the Attic by DZ Andrews. If you've ever read this book, you know why this is a guilty pleasure. If you haven't, let's just say it's problematic and um, just not something that you would like happily admit to reading except me because I'm doing it on the internet but I freaking love flowers in the attic and petals in the wind in fact I love it so much that I have another version like another edition of these books incoming because I love them and I want to I want to own another beautiful edition of this and honestly uh, um, binds up are just not my thing so but anyway flowers in the attic by BC Andrews if you know, you know. Prompt number three is Netflix. A series you want to start. Now, of course, I'm gonna pick for this the Miss Born series by Brandon Sanderson because I do wanna start this series, guys. I really do wanna start it. Start? I do wanna start it. I'm just kinda terrified to. I, I'm scared I'm not gonna like it and then everybody's gonna hate me. So I actually picked another book because I'm just cheating at this thing at the moment and just picking two books for everything and wow that's gonna throw my white balance off but here you go it's the bone season by samantha shannon this is a series that i'm really looking forward to starting and i'm kind of sad that rodrigo didn't pick it for my series of the month but that's okay i can read it next month oh my god so these covers again like they're blinding but they're so pretty and i can't wait to start it so here you go and the next prompt is Deep Clean, the book that has been on your TBR the longest. And this one actually took me some thinking because, uh, you know, I moved from Venezuela to Spain and I didn't bring most of my books and I thought, like, which one of these books have been in my TBR the longest? And the book I came up with was El Padrino by Mario Puzzo or The Godfather by Mario Puzzo. And this has actually been in my TBR for like 10 years. And I've never read it and honestly I think I'm scared to read it because I love the movie so much and I actually had to study it for school that I feel like what if this doesn't live up to the movie like I don't know and I'm just worried that the movie changed so much and I actually like the movie that then I won't like the book if I read it so this one is the one that's been in my TBR the longest I'm sorry about the lighting changes I always swim with natural light and like the clouds are going nuts. So the next prompt is uh, Animal Crossing, a book you recently bought because of the hype and I couldn't help myself. And that is The Last Wish by Andres Sakowski. Sakowski, we all know I can't say that name. But yeah, I bought this totally because I saw the trailer for the Netflix show and Gerald, 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 I can't say it. Uh, looks so hot in it. <laughs> I bought it because it was hyped up. So yeah, The Last Wish. Uh, this is basically the 0 0.5 book in the um, Witcher series. So 
I bought this one because of the hype. I could have left this for the Netflix one, but I already started the series, so that didn't count. But that would have been perfect, wouldn't it? But no. So there you go. This one is one I bought because of the hype. I could have also put Miss Born here, but I haven't started Miss Born. I don't know why I'm explaining this. This is <laughs> this is just a book I bought because of the hype. There you go. <laughs> and the next one is Productivity. Book a book that you learned or had an impact on you. Now, I learn from all of my books and I've been reading a lot of nonfiction, so I've been learning a lot about a lot of things lately. The facts I know about whales will like blow your mind. But I decided to go with The Witches by Tracy Mormon. Um, you've seen me read this book, I think, in the reading vlog. Yes, the reading vlog where I figured out that I freaking hate 24 hour readathons and if you can see all the tabs those are things that I learned from this book so this book might not be to everyone's taste but it definitely taught me a lot about witches witch hunts and James the first and the last prompt that has to do with books for this video is faith time a book you were gifted and for this I have the latest book that I was gifted and I was gifted this by my dearest dearest most darlingest book to best friend Elfie from Ballet and Books and that is Withering Heights by Emily Bronte and if you saw my video where I pick my TBR for this month or actually my non-English speaking husband picks my TBR for this month this was in there and oh I can't wait you know I was on the fence about this book but just because Elfie got it for me it just now makes it special and I feel like this is like a special thing which we share now like this I, I can't we uh, this is tangent like always but the book the, like the reason I became friends with Elfie was because she reviewed Little Women and I gifted her Little Women and now she gifted me this one and I just feel like I just feel we could bond we, we have a bond through these classics so yeah that's it that's all I have to say. It's just, I, I'm so excited. I, I love receiving books as gifts. And, and this is not saying that you have to gift me a book in any way. But this was something really, really, really special. And I'm really happy to have it in my collection. And it's going to go beautifully with the rest of my Penguin Classic collections. And yeah. Mm, another Bronte. So happy. <laughs> Alright. And the last question is self-care what is one thing you've done recently to look after yourself and i'm going to mention a couple of things because i feel that some of them are really important the number one thing that i have done as far as self-care goes is making sure that i'm taking my medication i suffer from anxiety and if i don't take my meds and not because i don't want to but sometimes i forget it it, it would make it makes this experience really really horrible so Please remember to take your meds. Please remember to take them on time because that's really going to help you get through this whole situation. So for me, taking my meds on time and remembering all the time that um, they're important to my mental health has been one of the most important self-care things that I've done through this whole thing <laughs> that we're going through. In other less serious notes um i make sure to put on clothes as if i was going out every day as you saw also in my uh what's it called my book to movie adaptations blind date thingamabob i make sure to get dressed like if i was actually going outside and seeing people because that helps my mood and that helps me remember that life is continuing and it's not like we have stopped somehow Getting dressed in the morning also includes putting on makeup for me. I love to experiment with makeup. I think makeup is a wonderful tool if you're feeling a little bit down to play with. And honestly, for these videos, sometimes I do a little bold lip or something and, and that really has been helpful. I also make sure to keep up with my skincare routine. It's very easy for me and especially the last two weeks to feel really down and like what what does it matter but just doing those little things that I used to do or that I do when I'm feeling my best emotionally and when my mental health is at its best 
then uh, those are some things that I've done for self-care. Another one is making sure I brush my teeth twice or three times a day. I'll be honest, sometimes it's twice a day. I try to make it three times a day, but it's very easy to let go of these really everyday things we, we think who cares or, you know, these, yeah, these self-care things that are not like taking a bubble bath, putting on candles, like these not extra things. But doing those things every day, those little routines that we used to have, I think make a really big difference and I think we need to remember that. So there you go. I do the weird uncle thing again. I, I make all this speech that is really sweet and nice and then I go and ruin it by doing freaking a mess. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I just want to remind everyone that I post every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and sometimes, like today, I will post on either Tuesdays and Thursdays if I'm feeling a little saucy, but I don't post on the weekends because I freaking need a rest. That's a self-care tip right there. All right, and without anything else to say, I'm going to say goodbye to you and take a, not a selfie, and take thumbnail. I'm gonna take a thumbnail for this video, all right? Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>